Hey y'all, welcome. So today I'm gonna go over the different parts of a Swift UI view, just a very basic Swift UI. We're just gonna go into the hello world, starting brand new type deal with Xcode. So with that being said, let's switch over and hop in here. Hi, welcome. Now we're from this angle instead of this angle. Great. I love when things work that way because it just makes it easy. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is actually just open Xcode. Um, and I'm actually gonna zoom into Xcode here. Um, create new Xcode project. This is just plain old Xcode, Xcode 12.5. Um, nothing new in beta, just Xcode 12.5 here. This is recorded in June, so there are, we do have the ability to go into beta, especially because I have that app. Um, I have the Apple developer program, but like I said, just normal Xcode here. Let's go, just launch the app. Make sure you have the interface set as Swift UI, lifecycle set as Swift UI app. You're using Swift, obviously, because that's what you're wanting. You're wanting to use Swift UI. Can't use Swift UI without Swift. So there we go. I'll just put it on my desktop. I usually don't put things on my desktop just because my desktop syncs with iCloud, but that's fine. All right, so here we are. We are in Xcode. So let's take a little tour around real quick. I already did the intro to Xcode 12.5. You can find that um, linked above somewhere. I promise it'll be linked above. I don't know where yet, but it'll be linked above. So now that the canvas has loaded, let's talk about the Swift UI view. Um, if you're not, we're not entirely entirely familiar with how this works. We are in contentview.swift. This is just an app. Um, this is just the very first view that you get tossed into. If you go to test app app.swift, you have the window group and then your content view. So your content view is that Swift UI view. We can command click, jump to the definition, and there we are. We are now inside content view. Whatever we do inside here is going to happen here. The, so first we have the struct, the struct of content view. This is how, what makes up this view. How is this view formed? That's exactly what this is. This is what makes up that view. We confirm, we conform to the type of view or to the protocol view. Then we have this body in here that is some view. So this some view is going to tell, basically this body we are returning because there is no return statement, we're just returning right there of this body. Um, and that's what's giving you this hello world. So we have this text, hello world. So if we wanted to start changing how this text looks, because we have this canvas open um, or this preview open, what we can see here is in the right inspector, we actually have a bunch of these options here. So these options we could do, um, we could start changing the font size, how the font looks, we could start changing, like I said, how the font looks, all that stuff, or we can even just cancel it. And you can see as you change your font here, you can actually see how this affects your content view right here. So because I changed this font to a body, we can see that it actually added in the code for me there as well. It makes it super quick, super easy to um, start seeing how these properties work, start familiarizing yourself with Swift UI. I really like it. I like building this way, especially when I'm starting a brand new app from scratch that I haven't completely like fully fleshed out. Like this is what I'm doing. Like that's exactly what I like the, to use the Swift UI app for. I mean the, the it's exactly what I like to use the canvas for is whenever I haven't exactly figured out, you know, like what do I want it to look like? Well, it's pretty easy. I just open preview here and start making stuff red. I can start aligning to the center if it was longer. Hello, YouTube. Let's let's make this longer. So because I had this multi-text alignment set to center, and we can see it right here in alignment, we are go it centered everything. I could go do left then if I wanted to, and now it's all left aligned, right aligned, all that good stuff. I could even add an align limit. So by adding an align limit, it only does one line. I put, if I nil out that line limit, it just goes away and we'll let it last for as long as it needs to, which is pretty nifty. There we go. That's the basics of the view. 
of the Swift UI view here, we have that body. Everything that you need inside the view goes into the body. Then now how are we actually populating this preview on the right here? Well, that's with this content previews. So this preview is a preview provider, meaning it's putting information from the pre from the from this struct into this preview over here. So right here. So this here, if I were to comment this out, we're not going to have any more preview because it's commented out. There's nothing saying, "Hey, preview this Swift UI view." So we're going to go back, bring it back on. And so once we hit resume and bring it back, it is brought back and it's nice. Um, some things you can do here. You can start, if you look in the right, your modifiers have changed in the inspector. So if you need to bring different devices in, you can change your devices. If you need to change your layout, that's great. Color scheme, see what your stuff looks like dark. And these are all properties that you can change as well here. So we can go light if you needed to, that kind of deal. Um, or just completely take it out. If you need to see two side by side, so maybe you want to do dark mode and light mode at the same time. Y'all, it's so easy. We can cut, copy, paste, and boom, we have two of them here. So right now we're on the first one. We're going to change that scheme to dark. The second one here, we're going to make it to light. And there we go. So now as we... Uh, zoom in just a little bit there. So now as I type this, you can start to see it's going to update both previews. It's just really useful to start doing it that way. Start getting you kind of like, you can start seeing both designs at the same time. Make sure they're looking good at the same time. We could even make this one. Maybe I don't need it to be an iPad. Maybe I want it I'm an iPod Touch. Now one's an iPod Touch and one's an iPhone 12 Pro Max because you never know how those are going to look different. Of course, now it has to rebuild, but still, it's just a little bit nifty. Okay, so this is the preview. This is what drives over here. And over here, I'm just going to mention it again. Mention it because I don't think I have. Is completely written in Swift UI. So you know Apple's using Swift UI, and this is probably the way going forward. Now, um, like I said, inside this view, this is actually where we start putting content for the app. So we have a bunch of text here. Now, if I wanted to add text above this, so maybe I wanted to break this out to where it's hello YouTube title, my name's Megan, I use they them pronouns, and then underneath that it says happy pride. So that's three different text views that we have. Um, if we wanted to make it stack, so what, um, hello, my name, happy pride, we would go and say, and put this in a V stack because you need to put it in a vertical stack. So I'm going to go ahead and just chop, cut this out for now. All right. So now that we cut everything out, let's go ahead and put the V stack back. So V stack and then paste and it'll be happy again. Um, but like I said, I want to throw all of this out into and break it up. So the first thing I want is another text up here. Hello, YouTube. Then we can get the rid of that from here. And we'll just cut that out. And so after that text where it says my name. You should get happy pride. Let's hit resume. There we go. We have hello YouTube. My name's Megan. Happy pride. So, I mean, that's, that's generally how it works. So if we want things to stack vertically, that's when we use a V stack. Want things to be lined up horizontally. Guess what? There's an H stack. So there's a lot of different views that you can throw in. So to ex explore, if you want more videos like this, where I go through and I kind of explain what's going on in Swift or what's going on on the uh, in Xcode itself, then make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to hit the su subscribe button so that I can bring, so that you know when I post more videos and you can join in and learn from other videos like this. So I'm planning a couple more on actually diving into more Swift UI views. Where do you apply modifiers, stuff like that. Um, so again, hit that follow button. I mean, hit that subscribe button. Sorry, I used to Twitch. 
hit that subscribe button and you'll get more videos like this. You'll get more videos with tips, tricks, and tools. Um, but let's head back into this a bit more. Um, cool. So that's, I mean, that's like I said, how you put a view together. Um, and that's how the view works in Swift UI. It was a very basic run through. You can make these a little bit closer here, that kind of stuff. It was a very basic run through of how a Swift UI struct, how this Swift UI file is made. Um, you could of course extract these into other views. So I could just do a struct here. IT view. And basically we're just copying the exact same pattern that was already set in content view. Then instead of having that hello YouTube there, we say hello YT, hit resume, and it's gonna look the exact same because all we did was extract a text out into this different struct. So now we have, now it's just cleaned up a little bit because we don't have the text there. Um, what something that would be really good is actually probably to break this out into its own into its own view. So let's just cut intro. All right, it's still not there. So let's just go um, intro and let's hit resume. And when we hit intro and we resume, we can get those back. So it's great. Um. Now everything should be left line and all that good, all that jazz. So you can also even put views inside view, your own custom views inside your own custom views. All right, y'all, with that being said, thank you so much for checking out this video. Again, I know I just said it, but make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you reach out on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, all those fun things. Links in the description below and I will catch y'all in the next video. Happy pride y'all. Bye.